Hi, I'm Mark Gaylor for markgaylor.com. You've joined me inside of Photoshop CC for a quick compositing project where I'm going to be using Adobe Stock. Okay, so let's just take this image back to the base layer. Now this base layer is actually also a stock image that I found um, in Adobe Stock. Okay, I just uh, basically search for man with pipe. Okay, so it's a little bit of a still of a studio shot, I think. So it just needs a little bit more life breathing into this stock image. So what I've decided to do is uh, add some smoke. Obviously, this um, uh, is not possible for some studio photographers. Otherwise, they'd be setting off their fire alarms. So generally, this can be added in post-production. Okay, so let's just um, uh, right click on the one that I've licensed to show you this and I can just uh, place a linked file. I always prefer to prep, uh, place linked. It does give me the opportunity to scale the file. So this is what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move that into position. Now I'm going to get it coming out of his mouth. Now uh, the smoke is going curling down a little bit so I might want to just flip that. Okay so flip vertical and hand and just swing that into place like so. Okay now I can scale because it is um, a link file it does have a resolution to spare so let's just drag that a little bit more okay uh, like so. Now if I hit the uh, return enter key that uh, is going to place that. Now we can see that we've got that black background around the edge there and this is very quick to um, remove that just by simply uh, dropping that into the screen blend mode. Okay now it's the black background on this particular stock image isn't quite black and so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a command L or control L on a PC and just clip those darker tones to black so this uh, studio black background behind the smoke will clip. Remember black is neutral in the screen mode so if I just push that we will be able to get um, exactly uh, the right look that we're going for without any masking whatsoever. If it's a little bit bright I'll just drop the opacity down a little bit. Okay it's also a little bit blue for this very warm toned image so I'm just going to do command U or control U on a PC and we're going to drop the saturation of that smoke so it's just a little bit um, more desaturated. Now you see that these adjustments are being applied to um, the smart object. This is a smart object with a difference however it's actually working with uh, the linked file to my library. If you ever were going to hand this off to another creative and give them access to continue to scale that you are going to need to uh, right click and choose embed linked and you'll see now it just um, adopts that typical um, smart object layer that we're used to seeing if you're of course used to smart object workflows. If um, at all you want to uh, you're finished with scaling and you just want to reduce the total file size we can alternatively just hit a rasterize layer and then that just becomes a regular layer. Generally I only recommend that if you've absolutely got the scale absolutely perfect. Okay let's just uh, hide that one. This was uh, me working with an image that I've already licensed. If you're going to start working with um, an unlicensed image remember you can search for images just by going and choosing uh, the keyword smoke. And I've actually got moke there so I'll just type that again smoke and um, if anything comes up and I could possibly also type in black background as well this is actually very good so I'm just going to choose find similar. The find similar command has basically found images of a similar nature um, so I've got lots of images now with smoke on black backgrounds for me to choose from. If I decide that I want to add one of these uh, smoke layers to my own assets I don't have to buy it now, I can just download that uh, to the uh, current folder that I've got selected. I can license over here as well. Now I'll just uh, um, uh, cut that uh, smoke search there. You see that I've already got um, a bunch of images in the smoke uh, assets um, that are a folder that I've created. If you wanted to create a new folder um, then just click 
and just come down to create new folder there. Okay, so let's work with an image that I haven't yet licensed. Okay, so let's get this uh, abstract smoke, uh, this one over here. I'll just right click and choose uh, place linked again. Okay, now I'm going to swing and move that into position. Let's maybe have this one coming out of the pipe this time. Okay, so again, we'll probably want that to be a little bit bitter, bigger. I want the smoke going out of a frame there. So we'll just do the Command T, uh, Control T on a PC, and I'll just um, get this out of the frame. So we get a nice long smoke trail there. Okay, and I'll just bring that down to the edge of the pipe there. Okay, so now we've got that, we'll uh, hit the commit. Again, we've got this little bit of a problem with the black. So um, um, again, we'll uh, hit the screen blend mode. Okay, so let's just come down to screen. Uh, this one, um, the, back, the black background of this stock image is completely black, so we lose that completely. The only thing that remains <coughs> now is the Adobe stock watermark, and this will disappear when I license the image. I've also got a little bit of a problem of a, of a very uh, fast cutoff on the edge there. So what I'll do is I'll just add a layer mask, select the brush tool with black as the foreground color, and I'll just soften the edge of that transition up a ever so slightly there, just so we, we don't see that very uh, sharp cutoff. If I want to uh, license this image, I can right click on the layer in the libraries panel, or I can uh, click on the layer itself, and then just choose license image. Now I've got, um, um, I, I've got several uh, licenses left available to me this month, so I'm just going to use this one and click OK. You'll see that's updating now, and depending on the speed of your internet connection, uh, this may take a few seconds. But what happens is, uh, and there it has happened now, is as soon as it's licensed, the watermark disappears. Every instance of this image uh, and in other projects as well, that watermark will also disappear from view. So now we've got a choice for the client. Uh, we've got the smoke coming out of the mouth or we've got the smoke coming out of the pipe. Again, we probably just want to desaturate that smoke slightly. So again, uh, we're just uh, picking up that saturation there. Now I'm using keyboard shortcuts to pick up these adjustments. Uh, you can pick them up from the adjustments menu there. They're always going to be applied non-destructively um, as a smart filter. Uh, because even though these are uh, smart objects carrying these little cloud icons, they are indeed um, behaving exactly like smart objects, with the exception that they're working with link content on the cloud. Okay, just to finish this image up, I'm going to come up to one of my other asset selections there, and we're going to come down to Flare. Okay, so this is just playing up a little bit. Okay, there we go. Flare. So now I want to um, get a, a flare, perhaps um, from the left-hand side. So I'll just right-click again, uh, choose um, Place uh, Linked there. This will go in over the top. Again, Free Transform. And just move that into position uh, over my image. Okay, I can actually, um, um, before committing it, I can um, go and change the blend mode on the fly now. So there we have the uh, blend, screen blend mode. Okay, it's a little bit strong, so I'm just going to drop the opacity uh, to, um, I say, 70%. I'm also going to add a layer mask to this layer, and I'm just going to hide some of the, um, the screen blend mode or the flare uh, from the central character here. So um, brush, um, press the B key, um, we'll get a, a nice um, soft brush hardness zero there. Just increase the size, I'm using the uh, close square bracket key, and I'll work with 50% just to punch a little bit of extra drama in this guy here, maybe several passes to get some real uh, contrast going in this area. Okay, so that really um, very little um, uh, masking of any um, that requires any selection work there, uh, but very quickly we've built up the drama of this studio image using some as an overlay smoke and also um, a lens flare effect applied in post. Okay, so I'm Mark Gaylor for markgaylor.com. Uh, thumbs up and uh, you can catch me online next time.